today i am solving exercise 6.3 of triangles chapter of class 10th now let's begin first question exercise 6.3 question states state which pair of triangles shown in the figure below are similar write the similarity criteria used by you for answering the questions and also write the pair of similar triangles in the symbolic form now let's take the first question. See, this is the first bit of that question. This is a given figure. We have to tell whether these two triangles are similar or not. So for that, what we do is, in triangle ABC and PQR, in these two given triangles, angle A is equal to angle P. Angle A is equal to angle P, both equal to 60 degrees. Angle B is equal to angle C, a Q. Both are equal to 80 degrees. Angle C is equal to angle R. Both are equal to 40 degrees. That means all three angles of this triangle are equal to the three angles of this triangle. Therefore, we can say by AAA similarity, these two triangles are similar. So we can write Triangle ABC is similar to triangle PQR. Or you can also write BAC is e similar to QPR. Because B is equal to Q, A is equal to P, and C is equal to R. So it could also be written in this way. Or you can also write uh, uh, triangle CAB is similar to triangle RPQ. C is equal to R, A is equal to P, and B is equal to Q. Okay. So, in either of these three ways, we can write it showing that these two triangles are similar. That means the corresponding angles are in the respective positions. Then we say that they are similar. Now, let's take the second one. Second one. This is a figure. The second figure is this. Now, let us see what it is. So, in these two triangles, triangle ABC and triangle PQR, we observe that AB upon QR, AB is here, AB upon QR. How much it is? AB is 2, PQR is 4, so 2 1s are, 2 2s are, so it is equal to 1 by 2. So AB upon QR is 1 by 2. Now next, take the next issue. BC upon PR. BC upon PR which is again 2.5 upon 5, that is 1 by 2. The third side, that is AC upon PR, that is AC upon PR. Here again, 3 upon 6 is equal to 1 by 2. So you're getting 1 by 2, 1 by 2, 1 by 2. That means all three ratios are equal. So you can say AB upon QR is equal to BC upon PR is equal to AC upon PQ is equal to 1 by 2. All three ratios are equal. That means the ratio of the corresponding sides are equal. Therefore, by SSS similarity, triangle ABC is similar to triangle QRP. Clear? Now, let's, say, let's go to the sec third bit of the same question. Now, question 1 continued. Third bit. This is your figure. Now let us see here. In triangle LMP, that is this triangle, LMP, and triangle DEF, 2 upon 4 is equal to 3 upon 6. 2 upon 4 is 1 by 2. 3 upon 6 is also 1 by 2. But it is not equal to the third side. That is 2.7 upon Five. Therefore, we can write, what does it imply? MP upon DE. 2 is what? MP. And what is 4? DE. So, MP upon DE is equal to LP. LP. LP upon DF. 3 by 6. But it is not equal to LM upon EF. So, because these two triangle sides of equal, ratio is equal but not equal to the third ratio, we know nothing about the angles. So, we can write that 
the two triangles are not similar as they do not satisfy SSS similarity criteria. Yeah. Now, next. The fourth bit. This is a given condition. So if you see here, the short triangle M, MLN and PQR in these two triangles, angle M is equal to angle Q, both equal to 70 degrees. This is 2.5, this is 5. That is 2.5 upon 5 is also equal to 5 upon A. this 10. So this is 1 by 2, this is also 1 by 2. Therefore, you can say MN upon PQ, because MN upon PQ is equal to ML upon QR. These two ratios are equal and one angle including between these two sides. So between the two sides, the included angle, between the two sides, the included angle are both equal. Therefore, by SAS, side, angle, side, side, angle, side, these two triangles are similar. Therefore, you can write triangle NML is similar to triangle PQR. Now next, the fifth bit. This is the thing. In these two triangles, ABC and DEF, angle A is equal to angle F is equal to 80 degrees. These two angles are equal to 80 degrees. A included side. Now included side is, these are the two included sides. And here, this should be the two included side. So this is 2.5, this is 5. Okay, 2.5 upon 5 is not equal to AC upon EF. AC upon EF. Why? Because AC is not given. We do not know what is the value of AC. So how can you say this could be equal, may be equal, may not be equal, since it is not given. We can say that the two triangles are not similar as they do not satisfy the SAS similarity criteria. Yeah. Now let's go to the next. This is your sixth bit. Here, you see here, in these two triangles, this is 70, this is 80, this is 80, this is 30. So, the angle values are different. So, let us see whether, how could this be equal? See, let us say, in these two triangles, we say, E is equal to Q is equal to 80. E is equal to Q is equal to 80 because it is given. Okay, fine. Now, angle P. Now, look at this angle P. Here, in this triangle, you know that some of the angles of a triangle is 180 degrees. That means 180 minus these two should give you the value of this angle. So 180 minus 30 minus 80 is equal. This you subtract it, you're getting 70. But 70 is equal to D. That means angle P is equal to angle D. Angle P is equal to angle D. Angle, angle E is equal to angle Q. Therefore, by two angles are equal. So by AA similarity, these two triangles are similar. Yeah. Now, let's go to the question number two. This question, what it states, the figure given is like this. So in this, the question is, in this figure, ODC, ODC, that is this small triangle, is similar to OPA. These two triangles are similar. Okay. And this angle is 125 degrees. This angle, that is CDO, is 70 degrees. You have to find angle DOC, that is this angle. Angle DCO, that is DCO, that is this angle. And angle, this angle. These three angles you have to find. Now let us start. Solution. Now see, angle DOC plus BOC is 180. Why is here angle D 
OC, that is this angle, plus angle BOC is this angle. This plus this case total should be 180. Why it is? Because it's a linear pair. Now, when this is a linear pair, we know this angle. So, let's substitute. So, angle DOC plus 125 is equal to 180 degrees. Let us take it this side and subtract. You'll get 180 minus 125. That is 55 degrees. That means this particular angle is 55 degrees. Right? Next. In triangle DOC, in this triangle DOC, I just found this as 55. This I knew. So you can use triangle, angle sum profit, some of the angles of a triangle. So I've used that. Angle DCO, that is DCO plus DOC plus ODC is equal to 180. Sum of the angles of a triangle. Sum of the angles of a triangle is 180 degrees. Now let's put the values. DCO you do not know. Let us write it as DCO. DOC, you have just calculated 55, write that. ODC is given in the question, it is 70 degrees. So add these two and subtract it. It becomes 180 minus 55 minus 70. That is 55 degrees. So that means angle DCO, DCO is 55 degrees. Clear? Now, angle DCO, is equal to OAB is equal to 55. This angle must be equal to this angle. Why? Triangles are similar. The corresponding angles are similar. Triangles are equal. Because these two triangles, they are told they are similar. Because these two triangles are similar, that means the corresponding angles must be equal. Or this is 70. 55, this will be 55. Vertically opposite, it has to be equal. Okay? This is equal, and therefore the other angles must also be equal. O is equal to O, D is equal to B, and C is equal to A. That means we have found C is, just now we have found that C is 55 degrees, so it should also be equal to A, which is 55 degrees. Clear? So we are using the concept that in similar triangles, the corresponding angles are equal. Using that concept, we conclude that this particular angle A is also 55 degrees. Next, question number three. Diagonals AC and DB of trapezium ABCD with AB parallel to DC intersect each other at a point O. Using a similarity criteria for two triangles, show that OA upon OC is equal to OB upon OD. This is what is given. So what is told? It's a trapezium and AB parallel to DC. So let us see how it is. So this is the figure. AB is a trapezium. AB is parallel to DC. Diagonals AC and DB intersect at point O. That means this point is O. Using similarity criteria, we have to show that OA, OA upon OB, OA upon OC is equal to OB upon OD. That's what. Now let us see. In triangle AOB, AOB and DOC, in these two triangles, AB is parallel to DC. This is parallel to this. These two sides are parallel. So because they are parallel, we say angle OAB is equal to OCD. OAB is equal to OCD. OAB, that is this particular angle is equal to this angle. Why it is equal? It is alternate angle. Or they are alternate angles. Similarly, this angle will be equal to this angle. Angle O, B, A is equal to O, D, C. They are again alternate angles. So because both are, therefore we can say that 
by a a similarity criterion these two triangles are similar triangle aob is similar to triangle doc because these two triangles are similar ratio of their sides must be equal therefore since the triangles are similar ratio of their sides must be equal therefore oa upon oc is equal to ob upon od that means oa upon oc is equal to ob upon od yeah next question number 4 in this this is a given figure figure is given already so it is like this so let us see the question in the given figure qr upon qs qr q r upon qs is equal to qt upon is equal to qt upon pr okay qt upon pr and angle 1 is equal to angle 2 angle 1 is equal to angle 2 it's also given i have to show that triangle pos so pqs p q s that is this triangle is similar to this complete triangle tqr okay now let's start here this is given qr upon qs is equal to qt upon tr pr this is the first condition and it is given so see where is q q r upon qs that means this longer side of this bigger triangle and this base side of this smaller triangle is equal to qt the full upon pr this is given pr okay. now angle 1 is equal to angle 2 which is this is also given angle 1 is equal to angle 2 this angle is equal to this angle it is given angle 1 is equal to angle 2 that means what you can say is this implies that pr is equal to pq pr is equal to pq because these two angles are equal this side and this side both must be equal sides opposite equal angles are equal because these two angles are equal therefore the sides opposite them should be equal so from one end to from this and this if i replace pr by pq i'll get qr by qs is equal to qt upon q here q r this full triangle upon qs this base triangle side upon is equal to qt the full triangle bigger triangle upon qp so and angle 1 uh, implies that q qp upon qt is equal to qs upon qr therefore triangle in triangle these two triangles that is p q s that is small triangle and t q r in these two triangle that is this small triangle and this full big triangle q p upon q t q p upon q t this means this side of the small triangle and the same similar side of the bigger triangle is equal to qs upon qr and angle o angle pqs pqs is also equal to tqr what is one and the same angle it's a common angle we are talking about this only therefore the sides are proportional and this angle is equal therefore by sas criteria of similarity these two triangles are similar there is a triangle pqs is similar to triangle tqr now next question number 5 s and t are the points on sides pr and qr of triangle pqr such that angle p is equal to angle rts show that this now let us see how the triangle is this should be figure okay s is a point on side pr 
and T is a point on side QR and okay and angle P is equal to angle RTS that means angle 1 is equal to angle 2 I have to prove that and triangle R P Q that means this big triangle is similar to R T S that is a small triangle the small triangle is similar to this full triangle at a proof. It's very simple here. So let us see how it is. <clears throat> here, in these two triangles, that is which we just now I mentioned, this small triangle and this big triangle, angle P is equal to angle RTS. Angle P is equal to angle RTS. That is angle 1 and angle 2 are equal. It is given. And angle R is a part of this triangle and it's also a part of the bigger triangle. So you can say it's a common angle. Therefore, these two angles are equal. <coughs> Therefore, by AA criteria of similarity, these two triangles are similar. That means RPQ is similar to angle RTS. This is what we wanted to do. It's very simple. Question 6. In the figure given. Which is the figure? This is the figure given. It is given that triangle ABE is congruent to triangle ACD. A, B, E. This triangle, this side, this much triangle is congruent to A, C, D. It is congruent to this triangle. Okay. Or to show that triangle ADE, A, D, E, A, D, E, sorry, A, D, E here, A, D, E is similar to triangle A, B, C, the bigger triangle. The small triangle is similar to the bigger triangle. Now let us see how to do it. It is given that triangle A, B, E is congruent to triangle A, C, D, that is A, B, E, that means this triangle is similar to triangle a, C, D, this side triangle. Okay? Because these two triangles are similar, we can write A, B is equal to A, C. Why? Because these two triangles are congruent. Therefore, the sides, corresponding sides must be equal. That means A, B is equal to A, C and A, D is equal to A, E. Okay? Because the corresponding sides of congruent triangles are congruent. Corresponding parts of congruent triangles are equal. So, this implies that AB upon AD is equal to AC upon AE. Because the bases are equal and the tops, the numerators are equal and the denominators are equal. Therefore, the ratios will be equal. Therefore, in triangle ADE and ABC, in these two triangles, the small triangle and this complete triangle, this is, we have just said, and angle A is equal to angle A, that means BAC, that is this particular angle, is equal to DAE, that is this angle, because it's common to both these triangles. Therefore, by SAS criteria of similarity, these two triangles are similar that is abc is similar to triangle ade now seventh question this is the figure given in this figure see in the figure altitudes this is an altitude that is ad is an altitude that means it is perpendicular a c e is an altitude okay and they intersect at point p they are intersecting at point P. I have to prove, show that these four triangles are similar. So let us take one by one. This is the first condition. First one. In triangle AEP, this to prove this. In triangle AEP and CDP. AEP, which is at this particular triangle. Clear? And C. D, P, C, D, P. That is a small triangle, this triangle. In these two triangles, what has happened? This angle is 90, 
This is 90. It is given. Angle AEP is equal to CDP. That is AEP is equal to CDP equal to 90 degrees. It is why AD and CE are altitudes. These are altitudes because altitude means they should be perpendicular to the baseline. This is also an altitude, so perpendicular to this baseline. Next, this angle and this angle both are equal because they are vertically opposite. A, P, E is equal to C, P, D. Both are vertically opposite angles are always equal. Vertically opposite angles are always equal. Therefore, two of the angles are equal. Therefore, by AA criteria of similarity, triangle AEP is similar to triangle DCDP. So, your first bet is over. Clear? Okay? Now, let's go for the second bit. Second bit, what I say is, this is the triangle again. Now, triangle ABD. A, B, D. This full triangle. And C, B, E. C, B, E. So let us see. So in these two triangles, A, D, B, and C, B, E. So A, D, B, which is this. This is the triangle A, B, D. This full triangle. Okay. And C, B, E. Which is the C, B, E? So this triangle. Only this part of the triangle here. C, B, D. So if you take these two triangles, again A, D, B. A, D, B. B, that is this angle is 90 degrees. And here this angle, C, E, C, E, B, that is this angle is 90. So this is 90, this is 90. Okay? And if you see here in both these triangles, this happens to be equal. Okay? Because both are altitudes, therefore they are 90 degrees. Now, these two angles are equal. And angle B is common to both these triangles. If you see this red lines and this green lines, this angle comes in for both the triangles. Therefore, it's a common angle. Therefore, by a criteria of similarity, these two triangles are similar. Yeah. Now go to the third bit. In this triangle, now see AEP. AEP, I have already marked AEP. And ADB. So in this two triangles, AEP and ADB. A, see here it is ADB, the whole thing. This A, D, B, this full thing, red, marked with red lines. So in these two triangles, angle ADB, again 90 degrees. This is 90, A, D, B. That is, this angle is 90. A, E, P. That is, this angle is 90. This angle and this both are 90 because they are the altitudes. And B, A, D. B, A, D. That is, this angle. And E, A, P. This. For small, this small triangle and this big triangle, both this angle is common. It's a common angle. Therefore, by a criteria of similarity, these two triangles are similar. Okay. Now let's go for the fourth bit. Fourth bit. Now this triangle, now we're going to consider this side triangle. See that? And that small triangle. Okay. We are going to consider this triangle, full triangle, and the small triangle. Let us see what is In triangle P, D, C. P, D, C. This is a small triangle. And B, E, C. B, E, C. This full triangle. This side triangle and the small triangle which you consider. So in this, again P, D, C. P, D, C. That is this angle is equal to this angle B, E, C. Both are equal to 90 because there are the altitudes again. These two are altitudes and angle PCD. Now, if you see this, PCD here, this particular angle is a part of both the triangles. So, PCD and ECB both are 
the same angle so it's a common angle to both the triangles because it's a common angle to both the triangles by a criteria of similarity these two triangles are similar so pdc is similar to ebc clear question number 8 now question 8 e is a point on the side ad produce of parallelogram now it's a parallelogram so let us see first how the figure is so this is a b c d a b c d is a parallelogram okay a d is produced to point e so you just extend this line to point e okay and b e join b to e it intersects c d at f we have to show it is this is a point of intersection which is f we have to show that triangle a b e a b e this full triangle is similar to triangle c f b this triangle the small red triangle and this green triangle which i marked it both are similar yeah now let us see how it is solution see in triangle a b e and triangle c f b a E B A E B where is A B in triangle A B A E B and A E B that is this angle and C B F C C B F C B F that is this angle this angle and this angle both are equal. Why are they equal? They are alternate angles because this is parallel to this. Because opposite sides of a parallelogram are parallel. That means this AD and BC are both parallel. And this is an extended part of this. So that means this AE should be parallel to BC. Therefore, this particular angle and this particular angle both must be equal because they are alternate angles. Next, angle A. This particular angle, angle A, is equal to angle C. Why? The opposite angles of a parallelogram are equal. Opposite angles of a parallelogram are equal. So two of the angles are equal. Therefore, by A criteria of similarity, triangle A, B, E, is similar to triangle C, F, B. Next. Question 9. The figure is like this. So in this figure, this other two triangles, right angled at B, A, B, C, A, A, B, C, you see the triangle A, B, C, A, B, C is right angled at B and A, M, P right angled at M. Now to prove that triangle A, B, C that is this big, this triangle is similar to this triangle. So if you see here what it is, this triangle and this triangle, both they have to prove similarity. So if you see here, this is 90, this is 90 and this angle is common. Therefore, it will be, so let us see that. In triangle ABC and AMP, angle ABC is equal to AMP equal to 90. That is, ABC is equal to AMP equal to 90. Two triangles are right angled at M and B and M. It is right angled at B and M. So it is given. Therefore, these two are 90. Next, angle A is common to both the triangles. Common angle it is. Therefore, by a criteria of similarity, these two triangles are similar. Triangle ABC is similar to triangle AMP. Because these two triangles are similar, the ratio of the side must be equal. So since the triangles are similar, the ratio of their side must be equal. Therefore, CA upon PA. So what I have done in these two triangles, how did I take the ratio? The hypotenuse of this triangle is it upon the hypotenuse of this triangle is equal to the base of this triangle 
upon the base of this triangle mp so bc upon mp clear so that is how you have to write the ratio just prove the triangle similar and write the ratio question 9 10 now see here cd gf are respectively the bisector of angle acb and egf such that D and H lie on the sides A, B and F e of triangle A, B, C and C. And if these two triangles are equal, similar, that is A, B, C is similar to show that. So let us draw the figure and see first. This is the triangle A, C, B and, and this is another triangle E, G, F. A, C, B and E, G, F such that D and H lie on the sides A, B and F, e. D lies on the side A, B and H lies on the side F, e of triangle this and this respectively. These two triangles are similar, okay, we have to prove that this. Now he says that C, D and G, H are respectively the bisectors. CD is a bisector of this angle ACB. CB, CD is a bisector of angle ACB means this line CD is dividing the angle into two equal parts. That is one and two, both these angles are. I have just used numbers so that it is easy to understand. This angle and this angle both are equal. Similarly, GH is a bisector of this angle G. Therefore, angle 3 and angle 4 are both equal. Clear? That is the meaning of bisector. Once you say they are bisector, they divide into two equal parts. These two are equal. Similarly, these two are equal. So now, children, now see. Let us see the question. In triangle ABC and FEG, in these two triangles, okay, both are given similar because this is given as similar. This is given. Now, since the triangles are similar, ratio of the sides must be equal. AB upon FE is equal to BC upon EG is equal to AC upon FG. Okay. So when the triangles are given as similar, write the ratio in such a way. The first two letters, first two upon first two letters. Second and third letter, second and third letter. First and last, first and last. So in this way, you write this ratio. One, this is given. Therefore, these three ratios are equal. And angle A is equal to F. That means this first angle is equal to first angle. B is equal to E. And C is equal to G. So when the triangles are given similar, as per the definition of similarity, if two triangles are similar, if the ratio of the sides are proportional and the corresponding angles are equal. So here we got the ratio of the sides are proportional and the corresponding angles are equal. So this becomes this much. Once this may statement is made, this much condition holds good. Yeah. Now, angle C is equal to angle G. Angle C is equal to angle G. It's already given because these two triangles are similar. That means if the C is equal, their halves also must be equal. Half of C must be equal to half of G. Half of C, half of this angle C is what? Angle 1. And half of angle G is what? Angle 3. So angle 1 is equal to angle 3. And because these are bisectors, you can also say 2 is equal to 4. They are the bisectors. 1 is equal to 2. So 1 is equal to 2 and 3 is equal to 4. So you can also write one. if 1 is equal to 3, then 2 is equal also equal to 4. So CD and GH are the bisectors of angle C and G. Therefore, they must be equal. Now, so in triangle ACD, A, C, D, only the small triangle, this upper part and triangle F, G, H. F, G, H. These two triangles, in these two triangles are similar. 
A is equal to F. Angle A is equal to angle F. U is equal to 4. Therefore, by A criteria of similarity, A, C, D, A, C, D is similar to F, G, H. That is A, C, D is similar to F, G, H. Or you can say, as per your requirement, C, D, A, C, D, A, C, D, A is equal to H, G, F. Okay. Either of the ways, you can write it. Clear? Next. A, C, D. A, C, D is similar to F, G, H implies C, D upon G, H is equal to A, C upon F, G. This in triangle ACD similar to triangle C, A, B is equal to E, 1 is equal to 3, therefore A criteria DCB, that is DCB, which is this, this bottom triangle, this bottom triangle is similar to this bottom triangle. Okay, that is we have proved this all three conditions. This triangle, these two triangles are similar, therefore this ratio is equal. Then this triangle is similar and this is also similar. Yeah. Eleventh question. This is a figure given, it's already given there, that's why I've drawn the figure first. So in this, E is a point on the side BC produced. E is a point on side CB is produced to point E, therefore it is a point E which is on side CB, C, uh, CB produced uh, of isosceles triangle. Isosceles triangle means this side and this side both are equal. And AB with AB equal to AC. AD is perpendicular to BC. AD, this AD is perpendicular to BC and EF is perpendicular to AC. I have to prove that ABD, A, B, D, that is this triangle, is similar to ECF, E, C, F, that is this triangle. Let us see the solution. So, triangle ABC is an isosceles triangle with AB equal to AC. If AB is equal to AC, angle B is equal to angle C. Angle B is equal to angle C. First condition. Why? Angles opposite equal sides are equal. In triangle A, B, D. In triangle A, B, D. A, B, D. And E, C, F. In these two triangles, that is this side triangle and this triangle. A, D, B. A, D, B. That is this angle is equal to this angle equal to 90 degrees because they are the altitudes because it is given that AD is perpendicular to BC and EF is perpendicular to AC. And B is equal to C, which we just said here. Therefore, by, from one above, therefore by A criteria of similarity, triangle ABD is similar to triangle ECF. Yeah. So that's what by A similarity we are able to prove these two triangles are similar. Now this is the next condition. Triangle ABC is and triangle PQ this figure is given. Now what is the question? Sides A B B C and A D of triangle ABC. Side A B B C and A D of triangle A B C are proportional to side PQ, QR, and PM of triangle PQR. So this is, this side is proportional to this. This side is proportional to this baseline. 
and AD is proportional to PM. So let us see how. So, so AB upon PQ is equal to BC upon QR is equal to AD upon PM. So this is the condition which is given because they have said they are already proportional. Now because these three are equal, you can write half BC because the AD is a median. That means how do you draw the median? Take the midpoint of this base side and join it to the opposite vertex. That means D is the midpoint of BC. Similarly, PM is a median. So take the midpoint of this side and join it to the opposite vertex. So that means M is a midpoint of QR. So half BC upon half QR, because these three ratios are equal, so there, half of this should also be equal, because it's a ratio, there's nothing. So you can say AB upon PQ is equal to BD upon QM is equal to AD upon PM. This is your first condition. So because half of BC is equal to BD, half of QR is equal to QM, and AD and PM are medians. So that's how we are writing. That's why we are writing this half AB, half BC as BD, and half QR as QM. This is your figure. In triangle ABD, so now you are going to consider only this side triangle, and in triangle PQM, you got this ratio just now. From one above, we just written this. Now, by SSA similarity, triangle, these two triangles are similar because all three sides of this triangle, that is this by this, will be D upon QM, they will be AD upon PM. All corresponding sides of these three side triangles are equal, proportional. Therefore, these two triangles are similar. And because these two triangles are similar, if triangles are similar, the corresponding angles must be equal. So we can say that since triangles are similar, the corresponding angles must be equal. Therefore, B is equal to Q. So this angle is equal to this angle. So in triangle ABC and triangle PQR, AB upon PQ is equal to BC upon QR. AB upon PQ is equal to BC upon QR. This is given already. And angle B is equal to angle Q. You just put here. Put above. Therefore, by SAS criteria of similarity, triangle ABC is similar to triangle PQR. So what did we do here? First, we consider this small triangle and this small triangle. And we used the ratios, corresponding ratios are equal. And we proved this small triangle as similar to this two the small triangle. So because these two triangles are similar, angle B is equal to angle Q. And so now we are given the full triangle, that is this side is equal to this, and this full is equal to this full, and angle, so SAS criteria, these two triangles become similar. Thirteenth question. D is a point on the side BC of triangle ABC. So let us first draw the figure first. ABC, D is a point on the side BC of triangle ABC. Angle ADC is equal to angle BAC. These two angles are equal. So you have to show that CA square is equal to AB in CB into CD. So in triangle ADC, ADC and BAC, ADC is equal to BAC equal, it is given. Angle C is equal, this angle is common to both the triangles, common angle. Therefore, A criteria, this triangle and this full triangle both are similar because these two triangles are similar. Similar triangles, the corresponding sides are proportional. So if corresponding sides are proportional, it should be AC upon BC. So take this angle, side opposite this angle is AC, and this angle is equal to this, the side opposite this angle is BC. So AC upon BC is equal to CD, adjacent side, CD upon AC. So cross multiply, 
you cross multiply, what will happen? AC into AC is equal to BC into CD. AC into AC is AC square. AC square is equal to BC into CD. That's what we wanted to prove. BC into CD. Put in question. AB, AC and median of triangle ABC are respectively proportional to the sides PQ and PR and median PM of triangle ABC. So it's similar to the previous one, but here the slight condition is slightly different. So these are the two triangles, ABC and PQR. AB, AB, AC and median. That means this, 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 these three sides and these three sides are proportional. It is given that AB upon PQ is equal to AC upon PR is equal to AD upon PM. So here, so this is how it is given. We have to prove that triangle ABC is similar to triangle PQ or this full triangle. So to do this, we need to do a bit of construction. So here, let us see the construction first. Produce DE to E so that DE is equal to AD. So let us produce this to E so that DE hmm, so that see we have to produce D, AD to E so that DE is equal to AD. Let us do it. So I have extended it and named it as E. Now here DE, this length and this length both are equal. So produce AD to E so that DE is equal to AD. Then join EC. Okay. This much you done. Next. Also produce PM to N. Now this is PM. You have to produce it to N. Okay. Let us produce it to N. So this is your N. What is the condition? Mn is equal to Pn. Mn, that this length is equal to Pn. And join Rn. Join Rn. So that's what we have done. Yeah. So this is a little modification of the figure. So that's why we call it. It's a construction part. We to prove this, we need to slightly modify the figure. So now proof. In triangle ADB and CDE, which is the two triangles, ADB is here, CDE, this, these two triangles you are taking. In these two triangles, AD is equal to DE. This side is equal to this side. Why? Because you are constructed by construction. Then, BD is equal to DC. Why? Because AD is a median, so you should take the midpoint of this because AD is a median. What do you because median we draw median by taking the midpoint and joining to the opposite vertex? So because AD is a median, that means D is a midpoint, and D is a midpoint means BD is equal to DC. So this side is equal to this side, BD is equal to DC, and angle A. DB, this angle is equal to this angle, vertically opposite angles. So, vertically opposite angles. So, if you see here, SAS, side, angle, side, side, angle, side, these two triangles are congruent. So, by SAS criteria of congruency, triangle ADB is congruent to triangle CDE. These two triangles, this triangle and this triangle are congruent. If these two triangles are congruent, what you can conclude is AB is equal to C. So from this, you can conclude that AB and CD must be equal. Why? Because they are the congruent part. So these two sides become equal. This side is equal to this side. Okay. Yeah. In triangle PMQ, now we let us take this triangle PMQ and this triangle. Again, 
PM is equal to MN by construction. Again, PM is a median. Therefore, M should be the midpoint. That means QM is equal to MR because PM is a median. And PMQ, that is this particular angle, is equal to this particular angle because they are vertically opposite angles. Therefore, again, by SAS criteria of congruency, triangle PMQ is congruent to triangle RMN. So these two triangles are congruent. Because these two triangles are congruent, it will imply that PQ is equal to RN. This PQ is equal to RN. Second condition, and these two are equal. Clear? Now, so AB upon PQ, AB upon PQ, AB upon PQ is equal to AC upon PR is equal to AD upon PM. AD upon PM. This is what is given. This condition is given to us. Now you see what has happened. AB. AB is equal to CE. We just proved this. So I can replace AB by CE. And PQ is equal to RN. So replace PQ by RN and write the remaining two as it is. Okay. Now, that means what has happened? This side is equal to this side. This side by this side. And this. AD by PQ, PM. Now, let us double this. Take 2 AD upon 2 PM. You take a double of this. That's because this is equal. This is equal to this. So two times will become AE. And two times of this side will become PN. Okay, AE. So, you will now if you see here, this side, this by this, this upon this and this full side upon this full side are all three proportional. So this implies that by SSS criteria of similarity, this triangle, that is this triangle, is similar to triangle this. That is AEC is similar to triangle PNR. These side two triangles are similar because these two triangles are similar Angle 1 must be equal to angle 2. Because it's a part of the congruent triangles. Okay, let us number this as third condition. Okay. Now. So, angle 1 is equal to angle 2. So, this side triangle was similar to this triangle. Therefore, we proved that angle 1 is equal to angle 2. Similarly, we can say that angle 3 is equal to angle 4. This is equal to this. So 1 is equal to 2 and 3 is equal to 4. Let us number this as fourth condition. So let's add the two. Adding 3 and 4, we get angle 1 plus 3 is equal to 2 plus 4. 1 plus 3 is equal to 2 plus 4. Angle 1 plus 3 is what? Angle A. Angle 2 plus 4 is angle P. So that means angle A is equal to angle P. This is your fifth condition. Now let us come to triangle ABC and triangle PQR. In this whole triangle, A is equal to P. Proved above from this fifth condition. AB upon PQ is equal to AC upon PR. It is already given. There. Therefore, by SAS criteria of similarity, triangle ABC is similar to triangle PQR. Okay. Notice the difference between this question and the question which we studied where the ratio of the sides which is similar, figure was similar only this, this, this by this is equal to this upon this was given. So the proof was easier. Here the slight change in the ratio. And that change the method of proof. Clear? Just compare the two so you'll get to know the difference between the two. And then 
once you have understood why it is done like this, you get a clear picture and then any question you will be able to solve it. Just go through that question once more and when you are re revising it, comparatively study both these questions together so that it becomes easy to understand why the difference in the proof. Okay, now let's go to the next question. Question number 15. A vertical pole of length 6 meters casts a shadow 4 meters long at the same time. So see how it is. This is a pole. So here, 6 meters long pole, its shadow is 4 meters. Shadow means there is sunlight here. So 4 meter is the length of the shadow. The height of the pole is 6 meters. Now there is another building. It's a tower. We do not know the height of the tower. But we can see the shadow length. We can measure the shadow length. Length of the shadow is 28 meters. Okay. Now at the same moment of time, we are measuring <coughs> at a particular instant of time, the sun will be in the same position for both the uh, uh, pole and the tower. So the angle should be same here. Isn't it? So, so AB is a vertical pole and BC is shadow. AB is a vertical pole. BC is a shadow. Also, DE is a vertical tower. DE is a vertical tower. EF is a shadow. Join this now. EC and DF. DE, let us take this as x meters. And this is taken as x meters. Now, AB is 6, BC is 4, EF is 28, and DE is x. Now, in triangle ABC and DEF, these two triangles, ABC is equal to DEF is equal to 90 because they are vertical. Pole and tower are vertical. That's why it is 90. EC is equal to F. Why? At a particular instant of time, the sun makes equal angles with the pole and the tower. Because at a particular instant, the angle made by the tower and the thing will be same. Therefore, by SAA criteria of similarity, triangle ABC is similar to triangle DEF. These two triangles are similar. Therefore, since triangles are similar, the corresponding sides are proportional. So what you will be getting? AB upon DE, that is vertical by vertical upon base upon base. AB upon DE is equal to BC upon EF. This implies 6 upon X equal to 4 upon 28. Again, this will imply cross multiply. And before cross multiplying, it's just 4 ones are 4, 7 are 28. 1 by 7 cross multiply will give x is equal to 6 into 7, that is 42 meters. So height of the tower is 42 meters. Okay? So there, there's actually, this example is given to show that where do we use this concept in our day-to-day -day life? Certain things which you cannot physically measure or find. It's a very tedious job trying to measure the height of a tower, 42 meters long, taking a tape of 42 meters, climbing to that tower. So anything which you cannot physically measure or you find have difficulty measuring physically, you can do use this mathematical concept. So this example is only given to show the application of the concept of similarity of figures or similarity of triangles. Yeah. So this is to make you understand where do we need it and why do we study similar triangles, simply ratios and proportions angles. So for you to have an understanding of the use of this concept in our day-to-day -day life, this is an example. And let's... Well, this is the 16th question, so by mistake, there is 15, it has come out. Now, see here, there is a figure. <coughs> AD and PM are medians of these two triangles, and these two triangles are similar. <coughs> now, to prove this ratio as equal. Now, see, what is given? 
these two triangles are similar and they are the medians. So to prove that triangle, this ratio AB upon PQ is equal to AD upon PM. So to prove ABC in triangle ABC and triangle PQ are these two triangles, they are said to be similar because they are given as similar. If triangles are similar, then the ratio of the corresponding sides must be equal. So we have AB upon PQ. AB upon PQ is equal to BC upon QR is equal to AC upon PR. Also, so take half of ABC, it will become, so because this is a median, so half of BC is BD and half of QR is QM. So this ratio becomes equal. If this ratio is equal, so number less number, this is first equation. But half BC is BD and half QR is QM. And AD and PM are medians. AD and PM are, and angle B is equal to angle Q. B is equal to Q. That's your second condition. So corresponding angles or similar triangles are equal. Corresponding angles or similar triangles are equal. Therefore, in this, in triangle ABD and AQM, PQM, AB upon PQ is equal to BD upon Q, QM from first condition, and B is equal to Q from second condition. Therefore, by SAS criteria of similarity, triangle ABD is similar to triangle PQM. Because these two triangles are similar, the corresponding sides are proportional. AB upon PQ is equal to AD upon PM. Clear? AD up, sorry. AD, AB upon PQ is equal to AD upon PM. So I think this is clear. Any doubt, you can just call me and ask me those doubts. And if you are doing this for the first time, please subscribe for this and also bell hit on the bell icon and uh, like. Thank you.